to also held the position of a governor uh, of uh, Puducherry. So, how was working in the police force different from assuming a political office? Like, what aspects changed? Look, police force. When you head a police force, it's all about leadership and management skills. You're so much exposed to the people, but it was very focused on crime prevention, crime detection, law and order, personnel services. It trains your mind in decision making, application of law. Now, when it came to Pakistan Governor Puducherry as an administrator, it is basically application of all your leadership and administrative skills. So, police now was one part of it. All other departments, like 30 other departments, are part of it of an administrative work. Each department to get the same equal attention which they deserve. So now the scale becomes wider and distributed. Now, question is, what's your skill? How do you learn to get things done? How do you guide them to get things done? How do you mentor to get things done? And certain steps, how do you show them the way? How do you do and say, this is the way to do? That's leadership qualities. And of course, the new thing was, which was the X factor, was the political clout, the political representatives, the cabinet, the honorable chief minister, the cabinet minister. Those I had not dealt with the way I had to deal with in as left wing. I think they were the new challenge for me. I had to deal with them in the manner where I think I could have. And in the end, leaving a legacy behind as left wing governor Puducherry that the position of the left wing governor is clear and strong and effective. By the way, let me tell you that the um, you are hearing today the powers of the left wing governor Delhi have been have been corrected. The new GNCT Act, which has come in, which has clarified the powers of the left and governor of Delhi. Do you know those powers which the left and governor Delhi has been clarified already existed with me as left and governor Puducherry? And none of you, none of you know about it because the powers of the left and governor Puducherry were never really understood. Only I knew it and my team knew it because one of the first things I did when I landed in Puducherry was to read the Union Territory Act read the business rules and the financial rules. I had the law secretary to explain to me and I read them. I knew my responsibilities and I start to act on them with the result that we could make minimum mistakes, law. And every time the chief minister of the state took me to the court questioning that power, he lost. He lost with the result in what it stands for. It's not a ceremonial position. It's a functioning administrator accountable and responsible and performing, legally empowered, clarified by the Honorable Supreme Court and the Madras High Court. So these are the new factors. That is where my legal education and my PhD and my constant learning helped me to administer better and to lead the Union Territory in the direction, even though they kept challenging it in court after court, court after court, alongside the work I had to do. Because I was taking these right kind of decisions, which were not palatable to the elected government, because on certain financial matters, for instance, if I would say all the money which is coming from government of India should go direct transfer, bank to bank transfer. There's no need to buy rice. There's need to no buy sugar. Why should we have a contractor pay commissions and distribute when money can be given transferred bank to bank? That's what government of India wants. Where's the need for a contractor and a commission and buying? They wanted to buy they wanted a contractor, they wanted to distribute, and I could take a decision of direct transfer, DBT. So they challenged that power. I went to the court, Madras High Court said, no, DBT is fine. It's in alignment with the government of India policies and the left and governor's right, DBT survived, which means everybody got, without any transmission loss, all the money which was meant for them. Why could I do it? Because I was very clear in what the law says, what the rule says, but we're willing to take a risk and go back to the courts of law. And the judiciary upheld it. So I think the uh, my policing and leadership groomed me to learn these administrative traits, which I applied at a different scale in, the, in my left governorship. <laughs>